Hey guys, here is Usama Tahir and today we are going to talk about some fun facts about first language acquisition which we also call mother tongue or the child language learning and we are going to discuss this from the book Understanding Second Language Acquisition that was written by Lords Ortega and its first chapter and today we are moving to our lesson 2. So what is first language learning or we call it monolingualism? The first language acquisition is always natural and there is no need for instruction in acquiring it. The first language learning is a child language learning and it's an unconscious process. It's a painless process for the child because he learns it unconsciously like he enjoys it or she enjoys it and then learns that language. It is also known as mother tongue and the field investigates such matters termed as child language acquisition or first language acquisition okay the field that studies the second language learning is called sla or the second language acquisition but today here we are going to talk about first language learning so the basic difference between child language learning and the second language learning is of pain is of conscious experience and the unconscious experience because the first language learning is an unconscious experience it's a painless experience it's effortless experience but the second language learning is a learning of language after the childhood till the de till death and it's a conscious process and it is not uh, sort of an easy process so in some context the child learn only one language during their childhood and it is called monolingualism but in most of the cultures we learn more than one languages during our childhood and we call it bilingualism that will be discussed in the next video lecture or the mono or the multilingualism that we will also discuss in the next lecture but today we are interestingly going to talk about child language learning in only one language during the childhood that's why we're calling it monolingualism or the first language acquisition and this language is also known as l1 or the mother tongue and let's start it robust empirical research with reference to first language learning so it's a research that talks about how a child learns the language and the time frame that is required by the child to learn to, to fully learn uh, the, the native language so bulk of language is learned between 18 months to three or four years of age to be maximum five years so it's it's like a miracle like a child who is mostly seen as a stupid species is going to learn an entire language in just three to four or five years and the language is a complex phenomenon everybody knows it but he learns it so beautifully that everybody is going to research about it everybody is thinking about it and it's quite interesting and amazing so child learn language is a predictable pattern which is quite interesting so the child learns language in a predictable pattern there's a pattern uh, in which the child learn the language and what is what the pattern is timeline which we call timeline as well so the timeline is warm to first few months from the warm of the mother to the first few months what what the child learn in this period because child is learning even when he or she is in the warm of her mother this period is highly complicated as this period ensures child understanding of the sound patterns and prosodic rhyming pattern of the language so during this period child is busy in learning the sound patterns and the rhyme and rhythm and the scheme of the language that is quite fantastic to hear that a child is learning even in the womb of her mother they also learn the art of turn taking during this period turn taking which is the beautiful aspect of any language that you wait for your turn and then you speak up right how amazing it is look like a magic First year, what happens during the first year of the child uh, in, with respect to the language learning? In this period, child learns to handle on, sorry, I, I should have written one word utterances. So, there's a mistake. In this period, child learns to handle one word utterances. Like he is going to utter one word sentence, uh, one word utterances like pa, pa, ma, ma, ba, ba, sort of like that so next in the next year in the second year child is going to learn two word utterances two years equal to two word utterances and some sort of exponential vocabulary growth is going to happen is going to be learned by the child the vocabulary will be enhanced during the second year because he is just he is just listening and only uttering two words and <coughs> two words or something like that but he is receiving the words he is thinking about it, he is observing the surrounding and everything like that. In third year, 
syntactic and morphological development is occurred during this period now the child is in his or in her third year of age and now he is trying to make sentences and he is able to make sentences by using syntactic knowledge and also he can make morphological distinctions with the help of like he can make past or present for example work or worked he he knows the difference between use or misuse maybe he is unable to tell you the difference but he knows it and it's the morphological knowledge like disagreement from the agreement or management to the mismanagement or boy to boyish girl to girlish so it happens during this period until 6 years after 4 5 years uh, in the 4th 5th and 6th year what child learns is pragmatics the hidden meanings of the language and syntactically complex ideas are learned like everything about the language is learned till 6 years like most of the portion of any language is learned during this period so the process ends here till 7 years of age to be maximum that the first language can be acquired or first languages can be acquired through this during this period if this period is passed then the second language acquisition comes to play which is not a which is not going to be discussed in this video lecture but we will discuss them later on in the next video after that the period is endless endless you can't make the boundary or the stage can't be divided can't be distinguished after the age of sex the learning continues by the child but major portion of the language has been acquired by the child during this period so the major portion has been acquired and the story is end here story has been ended here no more boundaries can be drawn but research focus shift towards language variations and other complex area areas so the now research focus is not on the language acquisition but on the language variations how one child is using language differently from another child and what are the geographical aspects of the language why one child from the one district is using language differently at school from another child from another district or another area that and the complexities of the language are learned not the language acquisition process because it's end here so that was all today and it's quite fascinating to discuss how child learns a language and, and this entire process is effortless child is learning everything unconsciously he or she is enjoying the life and enjoying the beautiful uh, time period and learning the language simultaneously without knowing it even without even actually knowing it so that was all today in the next video lecture we'll be talking about bilingualism that a child is learning two or more than two languages at the same time like i did this uh, like urdu and punjabi and so so many majority of speakers are bilingual around the globe and it happens so that was all today keep watching don't forget to subscribe this channel like this video thank you allah hafiz